Namaste everyone. My name is Saliha Khanum and I'm from class 8th and today I'm going to introduce you to the topic visualizing solid shapes. So first of all, what are solid shapes? They are 3D shapes. They're also known as 3D shapes means they have three dimensions that are length, breadth and height. While 2D shapes have only two dimensions that are length and breadth. They don't have height. Combinations of different shapes. We in our day-to-day -day lives see combinations of different shapes. For example, let's take a softy ice cream. This part can be regarded as the hem. This part can be regarded as the cone. So uh, this can be said as the cone surmounted by a hemisphere. And these type of combinations of different shapes is also known as nested shapes. Views of 3D shapes and cubes. We can view an object from different positions and the object looks different in each position. For example, if we take this hut's front view is this, but the same hut's side view is different from that of the front view. And here the top view is different from that of the front view and side view. Here if we take a solid made of three cubes, its side will be viewed, will, we'll see these two faces like this when we'll view it from the front we'll see these three faces and it will look like this but if we view it from top we'll see only two faces which will look like this so what are faces edges and vertices faces they are the flat part of a solid while edges they are line segments where faces of a solid and the vertices where corners or the edges vertices are the corners where edges of a solid meet or where the faces meet so if i show you here these are the faces this is a cube or a cuboid and these are the faces. this line segment where two faces are meeting these are the edges while these corners are are the vertices. What are polyhedrons? A three-dimensional shape whose faces are always polygons are known as polyhedrons. Sphere is not a polyhedron as its face is circular. Cone is not a polyhedron and cylinder is also not a polyhedron because their lateral faces are circular while cube is a polyhedron because its all faces are square. So one type of polyhedron is convex polyhedron means this is a polyhedron in which line segments formed on joining any two vertices lies completely inside it. Then such polyhedrons are convex polyhedrons. If we join any two vertices, any two non-adjacent vertices, the line segments used to join should always lay inside the 3D shape. Then only that polyhedron will be a convex polyhedron. So there is a formula called Euler's formula that satisfies only polyhedrons. So the Euler says that the number of faces minus the number of edges plus the number of vertices is always is equal to two. So let's see. Cube has six faces. The number of edges are 12 and vertices are eight. These, the, these number of faces, edges and vertices are can also be of cuboid. So Euler's formula f minus three, that is six minus twelve plus eight. The answer will come as two. Hence, prove that the cube and cuboid are polyhedrons. Prisms. There are many types of prisms, like the triangular prism, square prism, pentagonal prism, rectangular prism, hexagonal prism, octagonal prism. So, let n be the number of lateral surfaces, or let n be the number of edges of the base of prism. So the number of faces will be always be in a prism n plus two. That is the number of uh, edges of the base plus two. For triangular prism, the number of edges of base is three. Three plus two will be five. So the number of faces of triangular prism is five. The number of edges will be three into five. That and the number of vertices will be 10. So if we put these expressions in the Euler's formula, n plus two minus three n plus two n, the answer will come as two. And that all kinds of prisms are polyhedrons.
Number three, pyramids. There are many types of pyramids like triangular pyramid, square pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, hexagonal pyramid. So let n be the number of lateral surfaces or the number of edges of base. So n plus one is the number of faces, number of edges will be two n and number of vertices is n plus one. So if we put these expressions in the formula, Euler's formula, then it will be one minus two n plus n plus one. And if we further simplify it, the answer will come as two. Hence prove that all kinds of pyramids are also polyhedrons. So now let's move on to regular polyhedron. A polyhedron is said to be regular if its faces are made of regular polygons and the same number of faces meet at each vertex. Here, the face, all faces are regular polyhedron is regular because all the faces of cube are square. Here, all the faces of this shape is triangular and congruent. But the vertices are not formed by the same number of faces. At A, three faces are meeting, but at four, B, four faces. So therefore, this is not a regular polyhedron, while this is a regular polyhedron. So there are many types of regular polyhedrons, mainly five. That is tetrahedron, that is also known as triangular pyramid, cube, that is also known as hexahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, icosahedron. Tetrahedron, its number of edges are six and vertices are four. Cube, also known as hexahedron, has number of faces as 6, edges as 12, and vertices as 8. Octahedron is made by joining the bases of two square pyramids. So the number of faces will be 8, edges will be 12, vertices will be 6. Dodecahedron. These shapes are rarely present in our houses. The faces will be 12, edges will be 30, and vertices will be 20. Icosahedron has more number of faces than dodecahedron, that is the faces will be 20, edges will be 30 and vertices will be 12. Now, last topic that is the difference between prisms and pyramid. Prisms in that base and top are congruent polygons. The base face and the top face are congruent polygons while in pyramid there is a base which is a polygon and there is a common vertex at the top where all the lateral faces meet. The lateral surfaces are parallelograms, while in pyramid, the lateral surfaces are always triangular in shape. For example, hexagonal prism, cube is also a prism. Here in pyramid, if we say square pyramid, triangular pyramid. Thank you.